The mental hospitals say they are in the process of developing a training manual for police officers to deal with cases involving reports of mental instability. As it stands, training on how to deal with people who are classified as such is provided at the police's initial training stages by officials from the hospital. But time after time, police officers are heard questioning publicly why they are often the first contact point by the community when these cases emerge. Health Services Administrator Kester Cyrus says it's the police's responsibility and this would be further enforced in the Mental Health Act. What was mentioned uh, much um, earlier, we have a new Mental Health Act. Well, let me, let me back up. It's not an act yet, it's, it's a bill. Um, it's still at the legal department to be brought forward to be enforced. And some of these areas are especially mentioned, and in fact, the persons who, who wrote this bill, um, they did indicate that the police have a duty to provide assistance, whether it's a mentally ill person or somebody who we consider to be normal. So similarly, if someone who do not, who we do not know have a mental, um, the mental health challenge, it's it, it, it might be a threat uh, to, to the public or to somebody else. The police will do provide um, that level of assistance. So similarly, with a mental health person, they are obligated to provide that assistance. The hospital, which has an 80-bed capacity, is at the moment serving the needs of close to 130 persons. With concerns of an increase in substance use and abuse among young people, Meryl Roberts Marichaud, who is engaged in much community work, says there are varying concerns which need to be addressed. What we are seeing a lot of, in terms of admission to the hospital, a lot of young people, a lot of, um, well, older people too, but a lot of the patients who enter the hospital have um, a history of some substance use and sometimes substance abuse, and that affects the brain, and that could bring on symptoms of a mental illness. Mm -hmm. So a lot of substance abuse is going on outside there with teenagers and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so that seems to be largely what we are seeing. Mm -hmm. But then you have situations where persons um, are experiencing financial problems. People are unable to pay their mortgages. People may have uh, issues in their relationships. We see a lot of young people who um, are attempting suicide. And with that, you may have issues in the home of these young people, they're not having support from family, um, they feel that they feel, this is their perception, that they don't have the support that they may have from the parental figures, they look for it outside, relationships with um, whoever they have the relationships with may break down at some point, and this is when they think suicide. The hospitals say at the moment they are looking at implementing a number of measures, all directed at improving mental health support. They include plans to resuscitate the youth substance abuse program, rolling out a prevention program, a suicide prevention program, and integrating mental abuse into primary health care. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.